Hi, my name is Barry Bowling. I am an application engineer with the Okagawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today I'm going to demonstrate a standard feature on our oscilloscopes, the onboard calculator. This is an easy to use feature which will perform nu uh, customized numerical calculations on waveform data. To demonstrate the onboard calculator, I'm going to do some interesting power calculations. In other words, apparent power, real power, reactive power, and power factor. I have set up here a function generator which is providing a pair of waveforms to the oscilloscope, simulating each a voltage waveform on channel 1 and a current waveform on channel 2. Let's get started with the demonstration. To demonstrate the onboard calculator, I will be using a DLM 4000, the industry's first 500 megahertz 8 channel oscilloscope. First, you need to see the DLM 4000's math feature. Math is capable of a number of different operations, which you'll see listed here. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, filtering, integration, counting, and user-defined math as well. User-defined math is optional and is capable of custom equations. For now, I'm going to use only standard features. So we're going to do multiplication. The most important aspect of math that you need to know for this demonstration is that it is waveform math. That, when I give, that means when I give the scope one or more waveforms like I've done here, it's going to give me a third waveform. I often refer to this as waveform in, waveform out math. For today's demonstration, I'm going to use the math feature to multiply voltage times current, and this yields an instantaneous power waveform. Again, this is a simple channel 1 times channel 2 type math. The multiplication operation is a standard feature. So there's my waveform. This is the simple product of the voltage and current waveforms, also seen here. Okay, now that I have an instantaneous power waveform, I want to do some calculations on it and get some numerical results for each of the four power calculation parameters which I mentioned earlier. I will use the onboard calculator for that. Again, the onboard calculator is a standard feature. To get to the onboard calculator, I go into the measure menu, then I press enhanced, and then calc setup. To enter these equations, I use either the soft key onboard editor, or I can use an external USB keyboard. Here you can see that I've built the equation for apparent power. The equation I've put in calc 1 field is the equation for apparent power, which is the RMS of the voltage waveform times the RMS of the current waveform. I've named it S, which is an industry standard for apparent power. I've given it units of volt amps, also industry standard units. Below calc 1 are three other equations, one for real power, one for reactive power, and a fourth equation for power factor. Each of these equations are IEEE standard or empirical equations for those parameters. As you can see, the onboard calculator can perform numeric integration. So right here you'll see uh, an integral. So the equations have been properly entered at this point, and now I simply press the escape button a couple of times, and uh, I just want to completely back out of the calculator menu. Then I press run. Now we've triggered upon the voltage waveform and captured it as well as the current waveform. Next, math calculates an instantaneous power waveform here, the red waveform, and displays it to the screen. At the bottom of the display are my results from the onboard calculator. Numerical results for each, apparent power, real power, reactive power, and power factor. Keep in mind that my calculations here were performed using each of these three waveforms. If you need fast and easy numerical waveform analysis, this is the way to do it. In conclusion, I want to offer a quick review of the demonstration that you just watched. First, I entered four industry standard power equations for each, apparent power, real power, reactive power, and power factor. Then I captured a pair of waveforms, voltage and current. Then I used those two waveforms to create a third waveform, the instantaneous power waveform. Last, we watched as the onboard calculator very quickly provided numerical results for the four equations. I hope that you have found this demonstration to be informative and useful. Thank you for watching my demonstration of the DLM 4000 onboard calculator. For any inquiries, please do not hesitate to contact an application engineer or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.